Illinois v. Krull, 1987. In 1981, a Chicago police detective visited Action Iron and Metal, an automotive wrecking yard. The detective asked to see the license and records of recent vehicle purchases. Under Illinois law, businesses who sell or scrap motor vehicles must obtain a license and allow police to inspect their records at any time without a warrant. Albert Kroll and his associates were unable to produce the proper records and police found three stolen vehicles and one with the VIN number removed. The vehicles were seized and business owners were arrested. The next day, the Illinois Supreme Court struck down the state inspection law as unconstitutional. Kroll and the others moved to suppress the evidence because it was obtained due to an unconstitutional law violating the Fourth Amendment protection from unwarranted search and seizure. The police argued that their actions were lawful because they were acting in good faith. The case went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In a 5-4 to four ruling, the Supreme Court ruled that the evidence was obtained in good faith and that the exclusionary rule did not apply. The court ruled that because the officers acted in good faith and that their reliance on an unconstitutional law was objectively reasonable, the evidence can be used in court. This case relied on the 1984 Supreme Court decision, United States v. Leon.